If you look at SNB, it seems that it's rewinding its currency clock uh, near the old sand in the land. What actually happens when it touches 120? I think it's a very important psychological level for a lot of traders and investors. Um, but actually, for the SNB and from a monetary policy perspective, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Um, so if you look at you know, the inflationary outlook, for example, still very soft in, in Switzerland. Um, and really, whether it dips down 20 pips or up 20 pips from here, um, it wouldn't make an awful lot of difference in terms of imported disinflation. Right. But how symbolic is it? Or, or actually, how is it a potential milestone for SNB president to actually do something? I think the SMB are going to be a lot more cautious when they're looking at it because they've seen before how quickly sentiment can turn for the Swiss franc. I mean, there has been quite a bit of flow going through good buying interest in Euro Swiss, um, even in dollar Swiss and some other Swiss crosses. Um, but as we've seen in the past, all you need is one big risk off shock and the Swiss franc can strengthen quite materially. So I don't think, you know, reaching 120 in any way is going to suggest to the SNB that uh, they can right. step back mm. or that they can change policy substantially.